The Chargers pared their roster down to 53 players on Saturday, and among those to make the cuts, four undrafted rookies. One we've been talking about quite a bit, kicker Josh Lambeau. He beat out veteran Nick Novak for that roster spot. And on Monday, head coach Mike McCoy was asked, what did you see in Lambeau? McCoy was quick to compliment both players, but added that Lambeau never flinched at any of his opportunities. He made the most of his chances, and no moment was ever too big for him. And when you talk to Lambeau, you get that sense about him. He just has this sense of maturity about him. I chatted with him about that today, and he said, look, that's what happens when you move out of your house at 14 years old. That's just what he did. At 14 years old, he left his family to concentrate exclusively on becoming a professional soccer player. He moved away, went through an accelerated high school program, and just used all, mostly all of his time to work on be making that step to becoming a professional soccer player. He was drafted by FC Dallas when he was 17 years old. That didn't work out for him, and he said that at that time, you know, he would have never thought that he would have been a kicker in the NFL because he thought kicking was too boring in the, in the NFL, but that he's very happy with how things turned out. But you think about that. This guy has been training as a professional athlete for the last decade. This has been in his blood. So this is just a natural extension of that. It might not be in the sport he started with, might not be in soccer, but it's still just a continuation of what he did when he moved out of his parents' house at 14 years old to become a professional athlete. Another player who was on the bubble that we weren't sure was going to make the team, inside linebacker Nick Zubnar. You may remember him. He's got those ice hockey roots, now uses a lot of that physicality and that mentality still on the football field. I talked to him about the 24 hours leading up to the cut deadline on Saturday, and he said Saturday morning was fine. He was with his girlfriend. He stayed busy. But by noon, he said he started feeling a little queasy, a little sick that last hour between noon and 1 p.m., just waiting to see if he was going to get the phone call. When that 1 p.m. deadline passed, he said he still didn't believe it yet. He just wasn't sure, you know, had there been a mistake. He just wasn't sure he could quite grasp it yet. Finally, his agent called. He believed it then. He said it was one of the best moments of his life. Now, he still doesn't have a locker inside the locker room. He's got one of those temporary lockers that a lot of the guys get when they're bubble guys. You're not sure yet if they're going to make the team. But he should be getting his permanent locker probably Tuesday or Wednesday. He said that's when it probably will feel more real to him. When he has his permanent locker, he walks in the locker room and he sees his name there, among all the other guys who are also on the 53-man roster. Now, remember, training camp is over. The transition period is over. There were less football players out there on the football field practicing today, but there's also a heightened mentality. They're preparing for Detroit. They're preparing for week one of the NFL season, and that is where their mentality is at now. From Mighty1090.com, I'm Annie Heilbrunn.